You would think that after countless millennia of being on this planet, in the face of countless improvements in its mentalities, perspectives, and self-awareness in numerous people everywhere, people would at least put their differences aside and learn to respect their fellow man's preferences, whether they agree with them or not. But no. In my first video of 2014, I want to, once again, rip into the condescending shitheads who believe in the so-called gay agenda. In case you didn't see the last video I made on this topic, it went, it went a little something like this. Now I know what you're probably thinking, oh my god, this is a filthy fag sympathizer. She probably wants us to be forced into accepting them dirty ass queer old sexuals. Am I a filthy fag sympathizer? You bet your inbred ass I am, Jethro. Because as a young black woman growing up in a sheltered yet open-minded environment, it always confused the shit out of me to see so many black people, when confronted by someone who just so happened to be of a different race than them, beat the race card into the ground like a racehorse past its prime. Why? So why am I doing a second video on a subject that gets my blood pressure up as high as giraffe pussy, you may ask? Simple. Yesterday, I watched a recent video where one of my favorite YouTubers, Trey Melvin, revealed that he is bisexual and he wants to live his life free of the restraints he had put upon himself. To which I respond, good for fucking him. It's his life, what he does with it is his choice and no one else's. But unfortunately, since we live in a world where people are ass hurt, petty ass morons who aren't satisfied with the fact that their own lives are A, not shit, B, not fucking shit, C, not motherfucking shit, or D, all of the above, there has been an uproar on his channel, which I believe has resulted in the loss of 200,000 subscribers. Now, I scrolled through a lot of the comments left on his New Year's resolution video, and for the people leaving vitriolic comments that include by bullshit, I just want to remind you that the religious verses you're proverbially puking onto the comment section weren't said by Jesus! And for the people that are unsubscribing because you don't want to be involved in this gayness, I need you to provide legit absolute proof that Trey pulled some hypnotoad shit on you and compelled you into watching his videos and subscribing to him. The same applies to any other gay, bi, and transgender YouTubers you may have watched in the past. If you can't provide any legit proof that these people fucked your life up in any way, shape, form, or fashion, I'ma need you to eat a sack of giraffe dicks and pipe the fuck down. And and just do not get me started. Don't even get me started on the motherfuckers that want to pull the all gay men have HIV slash AIDS trope. I got news for you guys and dolls. HIV AIDS does not give a shit about sexual orientation. Matter of fact, the primary objective of HIV AIDS is to infect the body of whatever poor soul, male or female, gay or straight, bisexual, transgender, what the fuck ever, whoever was unfortunate enough to get it. Has sex ed not taught you people a goddamn thing? As a heterosexual female who thinks her, fidel who thinks her fellow vagina own owners are hot as fuck, it still pisses me off to see so much hatefulness, bigotry, and intolerance omnipresent in a land that claims to be the land of opportunity. More like the land of oppression, if you ask me. Because I bet you if I was even like half... Because I bet you if I was half naked and making out with a girl right now, nobody would say a thing. But let somebody... But let a, but let a gay man make out with a dude on camera. So much... So much wine, so much wine, it would not be even funny. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go eat my way half my way in chocolate and listen to Trey's cover of Almost Is Never Enough. Because every time Trey Melvin sings, my eardrums have an orgasm. Till next time, motherfuckers, I'm Liz Shell, and I'll see you in hell. Along with the philanthropists, homosexuals, fornicators, witches, and pretty much everyone who isn't a religious fuck-tarted twat. Catch you never!